Watercolour pencils can be a very useful addition to your, your painting bag. If you haven't already got some, I well um, recommend that you consider getting, a, getting some. You can buy them individually or in kits. Uh, in boxes and they're very useful for example if you wanted to create a really straight line on your, your painting but you weren't very certain about doing it then all you've got to do is do it with a watercolour pencil easy peasy and because they are soluble with water why they're called watercolour pencils you can if you wanted to soften that out if you wish okay but I'm going to show you a nice effect where you can literally, let's have just a wet patch at the moment. You take your watercolour pencil and a bit of sandpaper and grate it over the area. And you can see that the pigment is dissolving and making little starbursts. And of course, depending how wet or dry the, the, the pigment is, whether it's a very wet puddle, it'll spread more. So you can also have interesting effects if you... Let's have a splash of yellow. And let's just take a dark blue. And of course the nice thing about that is where you haven't put the water it won't stick so you can just blow the bits away and you can also pull out colour with them so you get a nice green effect then so you can fill in areas if you wish soften it up if you work very quickly you can even get rid of the hard lines that they create. So they're quite good to take out in the field with you. But I think the, the sanding effect, let's do a bit more on that one, is really rather fun. if you want as opposed to the the splattering I showed you with the um, the toothbrush with this of course it's easy to control you don't need a mask because if the area is just wet you can splatter with your grated sandpapered watercolor pencil so all they are it's just solidified solid uh, watercolor in a, a wooden tube uh, and they're really pretty useful things so that's your watercolor pencil